What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel, Jess Nicole here. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a yin yoga practice. Now, yin yoga is one of my favorite types of yoga because it is just a slow, gentle, relaxing, restorative flow to your body. So this practice is gonna be perfect if you are completely new, a complete beginner to yoga, this is a perfect routine for you to follow. Or if you're not completely new and you're just looking for something really gentle, really slow, really relaxing, this is a perfect video for you to follow along with. So with all that being said, go ahead and grab your yoga mat and let's get started. All right, friends, let's get started today. Seated at the top of your mat, Take this opportunity now and just take your hands by the side of your body, opening up the chest and the heart. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Just let it go. Just find this grounding, the centering within your body. And then from here, slowly begin to round the spine all the way down one vertebrae at a time. Once your back is on the floor, bring both knees into your chest and just hug yourself, pulling the knees in and then extending your right leg all the way down towards the floor. Pull the left knee into your chest and simply hold it here. Breathe, take another deep breath in. Then once you're ready, what you're gonna do is take that left knee across the body, so push it all the way down to the right. Extend your left arm all the way out to the side and come into this deep spinal twist. What you wanna do here is just close the eyes and begin to bring as much oxygen into your spine as possible breathing and not worrying if that knee touches the floor it doesn't matter at all here what we're trying to achieve here is a deeper twisting sensation in the back so releasing any tension out of the lower back gently lubricating the joints of your spine and the vertebrae and then at the same time as you keep that left arm extended you're also feeling a gentle stretch through the left shoulder but it's important that as we come into this yin posture that you close your eyes and just begin to really become aware of how your body is responding with each exhalation letting go of anything that no longer serves you whether that is negative thought patterns worry stress whatever it is just leave it behind for a moment and allow yourself to truly find this peaceful presence within yourself. Taking a deep breath into the nose, and then as you exhale, surrendering into this posture deeper and deeper. You'll notice the longer you hold this position, the more your body will slowly begin to release. So with time, you can add a little bit more pressure onto that knee to go a little bit deeper into that spinal twist. So simply find your breath, inhale, and exhale, let it go. We spend a lot of time in the seated position, whether that is at work, driving your car, or whatever it may be. This particular deep twisting posture is so good for your spine and for your back and just for your overall well-being. Welcoming more oxygen and more blood flow into that spinal cord. deep breath in now and as you exhale slowly release so come back into the center pulling that left knee back into the chest and then release it all the way down let's switch sides now so the right knee comes into the chest pull it as far as you can keeping that left leg straight on the floor take a deep breath in and then whenever you're ready on your exhale you're going to use your left hand and push that right knee across the body and then your right arm is going to extend all the way out to the side so coming back into our spinal twist on the opposite side now and again don't worry about having your right knee touch the floor if it's going to be there that's great but if you're really feeling a lot of resistance here in your back don't force anything Simply keep that left hand pressing down. Your right arm is extended, so you should be feeling a nice opening through the chest. Close your eyes, and again, just bring your awareness internally. Begin to really pay attention to any sensations within your body. 
Notice where there's a restriction. Notice where there's a lot of give. Wherever you find those points of tension, restrictions, bring more oxygen into those specific areas in your body with your breath. So inhaling deeply and then exhale slowly, allowing your body to surrender. Let go and being patient. Being gentle with yourself and yin yoga, we never want to force anything. We simply want to come into a position and then allow the force of gravity to slowly release your body deeper into that posture. So stay in this deep spinal twist and simply focus on the inhalation and the exhalation. This particular posture is also incredible for your digestive organs, stimulating the detoxification of your body. So keep breathing, keep letting go with each exhalation and focusing on allowing your body to slowly melt and release into this posture. With time, you are gonna to start to feel certain areas where you do feel that tension begin to release. And that's the beautiful thing about yin yoga. It gives our connected tissues the myofascial time to slowly give in and release. So this practice is all about patience and peace within yourself. Wonderful. Now slowly take your last inhale and on your exhale, bring your knee back to the center, roll it in towards the chest and then slowly extend and release all the way down. Go ahead and flex your feet and let's reach both arms over your head. On your next exhalation, you're going to use a little bit of that force in the arms and press them down as you roll yourself all the way up into a seated position. Feel free to scoot back a little bit so you have lots of space and then take your arms up to the sky. Feel free to bend your knees if you're feeling any tightness in the hamstrings and then begin to come into your seated head to toe forward fold. So grabbing onto the heels and then beginning to release your chest over top of your thighs. If you feel like you can go further, then slowly begin to extend both knees as far as you can until you come into that full extension and then continuing to reach forward with your hands. So you can either grab your heels or reach forward and interlace your fingers on top of your feet. No matter where you are in this posture, go ahead and rest your forehead. We are gonna be staying in this posture for an extended period of time, so we want to make sure that we are finding some sort of comfort here. Now, as we find that comfort, then the body is able to relax, and once the body is able to relax, this is when the muscles begin to release, and then allowing us to go a little bit deeper into the posture, which in time increases our flexibility and mobility of the joints. So stay here, keep your eyes closed, and find this meditative state. Simply focusing on the inhalation and exhalation of air in and out of your body. Notice any thoughts coming into your mind, and once you find that awareness, let those thoughts go. Beautiful. Now let's slowly release, bringing yourself up to a straight back. And then release the arms next to the side of your body. So go ahead and this time bend both your knees, bring the soles of your feet together, allowing your knees to fall away from you. 
Because what we're going to do here is not keep the heels too close to the hips, but you actually want to create more of a diamond shape with your legs. And then from here, begin to simply release your body forward, holding onto your ankles. Now, if you find that you want to go even deeper, you can always release your elbows onto the floor. Otherwise, continue to hold on to those ankles. What we're doing here is really focusing on the chest and the belly to come closer towards the mat. So going deeper into the hips. Now releasing any tension or soreness, any energy that may be blocked within that specific area of the body. Once you've found that position, just breathe into it. Let it all go. Finding this presence within you, letting go of your day or your week or your month. Letting go of any responsibilities, projects, to-do lists you may have on your schedule. Simply finding this beautiful loving energy that is within you, connecting with that energy with each exhalation. Simply allow yourself to surrender into that energy, into this posture. This is your moment right now to completely release and relax your body and your mind. You deserve to disconnect yourself just for this moment right now and reconnect yourself with all that you are, all that you are within, not externally, with each exhalation, reminding yourself of the beautiful things you may be grateful for in your life, no matter how big or small, grateful for this body that you have, for this beautiful life that you have, for this opportunity to find this time in your day for yourself Stay here and continue to deeply breathe in and exhale. Whenever you're ready, we're going to begin to release this posture. So simply come on up to your hands, walk your hands behind your back, and then slowly bring your knees together. And then from here, go ahead and transition your body weight over to your hands and knees, and then walk your knees a little bit further back on your mat. Let's start with the right knee. What we're going to do is take your right knee and bring it over towards your right thumb and then begin to slowly walk your knee forward and then walk your left knee slightly over to the left side of your mat then drop your weight over to the right glute and then begin to walk your hands forward over to the elbows or perhaps the floor. This is a wonderful variation of your pigeon pose if you are not feeling any sort of release in your glute or maybe your glutes are quite flexible then you're more than welcome to slowly reposition yourself into a full pigeon pose by lifting your hips and then walking your left leg all the way back for anyone that struggles with tighter glute muscles this is a wonderful variation so go ahead and come into that position i will be doing the variation pose so in the variation the back knee is bent at about 90 degrees and then the right leg is just bent at whatever comfortable angle so maybe you want to keep the heel closer towards your hip or start to walk the heel a little bit further away from your body what we're doing here again is just finding that angle that will truly feel that deeper release in your glute muscle. Everybody is tight at different areas. So again, these postures are so personal. You have to really play with it and slightly move your body, maybe a little bit to the left or a little to the right to really find that particular area, that particular version of this posture that truly hits the right spots for you. So take your time, feel free to move a little bit if you need to, but then once you've found a good position, just hold and breathe. So whether you are in your variation of this pigeon or even in a full pigeon, allow yourself to surrender to the mat, 
breathing into any areas of tightness that you feel along your lower body with each exhalation visualizing your body letting go of this tension becoming heavier melting into the mat into the ground so just keep breathing letting yourself release deeper and deeper filling your lungs with oxygen and then directing that oxygen into any tension within your body then with your exhalation see it visualize that tension melting away all right now Slowly, we're going to start by lifting the head up and then walking your hands back, lift your body, and then from here, simply bring your knees together at the back of your mat, tuck your toes under so you can lift your knees off the floor in like a plank position, and then bring your left knee to your left thumb. So this is a good way to get into your pigeon pose. However, if you want to do that variation, you're going to bend that back knee to about 90 degrees. So both knees are bent and then slowly from here, start to move yourself forward with your elbows onto the mat. So when you're in this variation of pigeon, all your weight is actually on the left glute on your left sit bone. If you are in a full pigeon, your weight is equal. So your hips are more square towards the front of your mat. So once you've found that spot that feels best for you, feel free to stay on your elbows or come all the way down with your chest to the floor and simply find your breath. Feel that energy moving through your body as you exhale all the tension, all that unwanted negativity, whatever is holding you back in your life and your journey, whatever it is, visualize it releasing out of you. And as you take that inhalation, visualize and see beautiful radiant energy coming into your body, helping you release that tension out of your muscles, out of your joints. Just stay focused with the simple motion. Inhale and exhale. And then whenever you're ready, we're slowly going to release out of this posture by first lifting the head and then the body, then walking your hands closer towards your legs and lifting that back knee off the floor. Whatever way is most easiest for you to come back towards the back of your mat and then go ahead and sit yourself down into your child's pose. Feet and knees together this time. Your forehead is gonna come down onto the mat rest your arms along the side of your body so very gentle rounding of the spine feel free to close your eyes and again just focusing on the movement of your breath in and out finding that centering feeling within you that presence that love that light that energy that fills your entire body with love and peace
Make sure your entire body is rested over top of your knees. Just simply give yourself permission to surrender, to let go, to be still without any worry, being anywhere but here. Pay attention to the sensations within your body. Notice the temperature of air that comes into your body, the temperature it is when it comes out. Feeling that coolness and that warmth each time you inhale and exhale. Now from here, let's slowly place both of our hands to the lower back. So bending your elbows and placing the hands, palms on the back, and start to gently just rub up and down a couple times, giving that lower back a little bit of love. And then slowly come up to a seated position. Once you're up, go ahead and just transition yourself over to the front of your mat. Whichever way feels best, and once you're back down on your mat, you're going to come all the way down with your back resting your head on the floor, bending both knees and placing the soles of your feet together. Close your eyes in this reclined butterfly pose. Feeling this gentle release through the hips as you take one more breath. And then as you exhale, whenever you're ready, bring your legs up and we're gonna go into happy baby. So you want to grab your the soles of your feet with your hands. And as you do that, pull your knees down to the earth, bring them down to the ground. The goal here is to have our knees on the floor, but obviously that's not doable for some people, even me at this stage. So just try to keep that pull and that gravity on your hips and you'll definitely feel a nice opening stretch in your hips. So find some comfort here and continue to take your deep breaths. We're going to be here for a few moments. So let's begin to release out of this posture and slowly extend both legs all the way out into our final pose of this practice, our Shavasana or corpse pose, allowing the palms of your hands to slowly open up towards the sky, keeping your eyes closed at this time. Let your body know that we are ready to go into a more relaxed state of being. As you surrender to the floor, letting go of your entire body to Mother Earth, keeping your eyes closed, relax your face, allow your eyes to feel heavy, relax your forehead, your jaw, allow your shoulders to open and release into the floor, no longer holding any tension within them. Notice the heart beating in your chest, listen to the beautiful vibrations of each beat of your heart feeling your lungs move up and down welcoming more and more oxygen into the body 
Relax the glutes, relax your thighs, your calves. Allow your heels to feel extremely heavy on the floor. Allow your elbows, your wrists, your hands to be heavy by your side. Complete and full relaxation of your entire physical body. Now, if you're finding yourself melting farther and further and you'd like to stay here much longer, you're more than welcome to do that. Just continue to stay in your Shavasana. However, if you'd like to finish our practice together, then go ahead and start to move your body, move your fingers and toes, bend the knees in whatever way feels comfortable to you. So go ahead and come up into a seated position. And whenever you're ready along the center of your mat, once you come into your seated position, Make sure your feet are crossed in front of you. Go ahead and simply rest your hands on the knees, closing your eyes and just taking one more breath to let yourself go and find that center. Taking a deep breath in and exhale, feeling that beautiful energy running through the base of your spine all the way up to the crown of your head. And that is the end of our practice today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at the Jess Nicole and at Jess Wright Fitness. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye.